Some numbers work really well to divide together. For this example, we have 2,400 divided by 30. Because 2,400 divided by 30 has basically two division facts, like 24 divided by 3, you can easily do these in your head. 24 divided by 3 equals 8, and now we just have to worry about those zeros. Um, one easy trick in order to do this is always start with the divisor, and since we have one zero in the divisor, cross it off, and now you're only allowed to cross off one zero in the dividend. After crossing off your zeros, you notice you have one zero left, and that zero needs to go on the end of your quotient. So therefore your quotient is 80. So 2,400 divided by 30 equals 80. You can also think of this problem as 30 times some number equals 2,400. Well, 3 times what number equals 24? Well, 3 times 8 equals 24. And now we need to even out our zeros. So just like before when we uh, talked about multiplication, and you have to add zeros together for multiplication, we have two zeros in our product, and we only have one zero in our factors. So we add that second zero here to the H to make it 80, and therefore 30 times 80 equals 2,400, and 2,400 divided by 30 equals 80. Thank you for watching my podcast on division patterns.